Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with soil mechanics. So the first question, the effective size of particle of soil is denoted by option A D10, option B D20, option C D30, option D D60. The correct answer is option A D10. Next question, degree of saturation of soil deposit having the water content of 15 percentage Specific gravity is 2.50 and void ratio is 0.5 is So we have to find out the degree of saturation So now the formula E into S equal to W into G So using this formula we can find out Option A 50 percentage Option B 60 percentage Option C 75 percentage Option D 80 percentage So the correct answer is Option C 75 percentage Next question, the coefficient of compressibility of soil is the ratio of option A stress to strain, option B strain to stress, option C stress to settlement, option D rate of loading to that settlement. The correct answer is option B strain to stress. Next question, if the failure of finite slope occurs through the toe, it is known as option A slope failure option B phase failure, option C base failure, option D toe failure. The correct answer is option D toe failure. Next question, Rankine's theory of active earth pressure assumes option A soil mass is homogeneous, dry and cautionless, option B back of the wall is vertical and smooth, option C wall yields above the base, option D all of the above. So the correct answer is option D all of the above. Next question, the water content of the soil is defined as the ratio of option A volume of water to the volume of given soil, option B volume of water to the volume of voids in the soil, option C weight of water to the weight of air in the voids, option D weight of water to the weight of solids of the given soil mass. So the correct answer is option D weight of water to the weight of solids of the given soil mass. Next question, accurate determination of water conduct is made by option A calcium carbide method, option B sand bath method, option C alcohol method, option D oven drying method. The correct answer is option D oven drying method. Next question, Stokes law state that the velocity at which a grain settles out of suspension the other factors remaining constant it depends on option A shape of grain. Option B weight of grains, option C size of grains, option D shape, size and weight of grains. The correct answer is option D size, shape and weight of grains. Next question, the liquid limit and plastic limit exist in option A sandy soils, option B silty soils, option C gravel soils, option D clay soils. The correct answer is option D clay soils. Next question, backfill with the sloping surface exerts a total active pressure PA on the wall of height H acts at option A H by 4 above the base parallel to the base, option B H by 2 above the base parallel to the base, option C H by 3 above the base parallel to the base, option D H by 5 above the base parallel to the base. So the correct answer is option C H by 3 above the base parallel to the base. Next question, the ratio of the weight of given volume of soil solids to the weight of equal volume of distilled water at the given temperature is option A porosity, option B specific gravity, option C void ratio, option D water conduct. The correct answer is option B specific gravity. Next question, the ultimate settlement of the soil is directly proportional to option A depth of compressible soil strata. Option B compressive index, option C void ratio, option D both A and B. The correct answer is option D both A and B. Next question, the seepage force in a soil is option A perpendicular to the equipotential line, option B parallel to the exit gradient, option C proportional to the head loss, option D all the above. The correct answer is option D all the above. Next question, a soil has bulk density 
2.30 gram per centimeter cube on water content of 15 percentage the dry density of the sample is so we can use the formula gamma d equal to gamma divided by 1 plus w so the answer is option a 1.0 gram per centimeter square option b 1.5 gram per centimeter cube option c 2.0 gram per centimeter cube option d 2.5 gram per centimeter cube so the correct answer is option c 2.0 gram per centimeter cube next question pick up the correct statement from the following option a sandy clay loam consists highest percentage of sand option b silty clay loam contains highest percentage of silt option c silt boulder clay offers maximum shear strength option d soft chalk carries the least safe floor the correct answer is silty clay loam contains highest percentage of silt next question the fluid generally used for grouting is option a clay suspension option b sodium silicate option c bitumen emulsion option d all the above the correct answer is option d all the above next question coarse grained soil has a void ratio of 0.75 and specific gravity as 2.75 the critical gradient at which quicksand condition occurs is option a 0.25 option b 0.5 option c 0.75 option d 1 the correct answer is option d 1 next question failure of stability of slopes generally occurs along option a slip plane option b a horizontal surface option c a curved surface option d all the surface the correct answer is option c a curved surface next question pick up the correct statement from the following option a failure plane carries a maximum shear stress option b failure plane does not carry a maximum shear stress option c failure plane carries a shear stress equal to the maximum shear stress option d none of the above the correct answer is failure plane does not carry a maximum shear stress next question geological cycle for the formation of soil is option a uphill transportation deposition weathering option b weathering uphill transportation deposition option c transportation uphill weathering deposition option d weathering transportation deposition upheaval so the correct answer is weathering transportation deposition and upheaval next question the weight of pycnometer containing for 400 grams of sand and water full to the top is 2150 gram the weight of pycnometer full of clean water is 1950 gram if the specific gravity of the soil is 2.5 the water content is option a 5 percentage option b 10 percentage option c 15 percentage option d 20 percentage the correct answer is option d 20 percentage next question the center of gravity of the triangle is the point where three option a medians of the triangle meet option b perpendicular bisects of the sides of the triangle meet option c bisector of the angle of triangle meet option d none of these the correct answer is medians of the triangle meet next question the forces which meet at the one point and have their lines of action in the different planes are called option a coplanar non-concurrent force option b non-coplanar concurrent force option c non-coplanar non-concurrent force option d intersecting force so the correct answer is non-coplanar concurrent force again we will see next video thank you